Thank you for listening to shulhanarcharav.com. What is the proper Seder order when a yard site falls on Shabbos or Yantif? There are a number of customs that are commonly performed on the day of a yard site of a parent or of a tzaddik, of one's rebbe. And the question is asked, what do you do when the date falls on Shabbos? In which some of these customs cannot be performed due to technical reasons or due to halachic reasons. So the Paiskim discussed this question, and when a yard site falls on Shabbos, we end up having three categories of customs, the first being customs that are pushed off from the day of the yard site, the second being customs that are performed on Shabbos, and the third being customs that are not performed at all. Not before, not after, and not on Shabbos. So what is what? Which customs are pushed off from Shabbos, which customs are fulfilled on Shabbos, and which are not performed at all. So the customs that are fulfilled on Shabbos are the customs that are permitted to be done without any problem or technical issues such as saying Kaddish, davening for the Amud, learning Mishnayis, Tehillim, all the normal customs done on a yard site, which can also be done on Shabbos without any halachic issues, are to be done on Shabbos and are not to be delayed or preceded to other days. Now those customs that cannot be fulfilled on Shabbos, are they preceded to which day are, are they preceded or are they not done at all? So we find regarding this a machlekes in the Paiskim, the Shulchan Aruch, between the Mechaber and Ramah with regards to fasting. It used to be that children, sons would fast on the day of the yard set of their parent. And when the yard site fell on Shabbos, the question was raised, what do they do? Obviously, you can't fast on Shabbos, so do you fast on Sunday? Do you fast on Friday? Do you, do you not fast at all? And to each one of these options, we have an opinion. Some place can say you should fast on Sunday. So rules the Mechaber in Shulchan 568.9. Others say fast on Friday. And others say don't fast at all. And so rules the Ramah that, that in such a year, there is no fast. Now regarding other customs, such as giving tzedakah, visiting the cemetery, lighting a yard site candle, which all these things can't be done on Shabbos due to technical reasons or halachic reasons. These poskim do not discuss when you should do them. However, the Rebbe in the Kodesh and the Kutesichis discusses this matter and practically rules that all these customs that can't be done on Shabbos are to be preceded to be done on Friday, out of Shabbos. And you can do them anytime out of Shabbos, whether before midday or after midday, if, however, for whatever reason it wasn't done Erev Shabbos, then it should be done on Sunday. So if one didn't visit the Kevah Erev Shabbos, he should visit on Sunday. So we will now summarize each one of the normal and general yard site customs that are normally done on a yard site and how they should be done when a yard site falls on Shabbos. So regarding visiting the cemetery, as we just concluded, one should visit the cemetery on Erev Shabbos, and if you can't, then visit it on Sunday. Regarding a Siyan Masechta, the Rebbe concludes that one is not to make a Siyan Masechta on the day of the Yards if it falls on Shabbos, as the reason why a Siyan Masechta is done is to exempt a fast, and we don't fast on Shabbos. Regarding the Yardside candle, the Yardside candle is lit before Shkia, sometime before Shkia by candle lighting time, on Erev Shabbos on Friday. Regarding davening by a yard site for a parent, the son is to daven for the Amud, for Mayrev Shachros and Mincha on Shabbos, if he knows how to and he's able to. He should likewise say the Kaddish, Yasam, that precedes Mayrev, which is at the end of Kabbalah Shabbos. Regarding an Aliyah to the Torah, so we should get an Aliyah on Shabbos itself. Likewise, those Chassidim who get an Aliyah on the day of the yard site of the Rebbe are to get an Aliyah in such a case on Shabbos itself and not the Shabbos before. The Kitsu Radano Sheikh Neofra may Hashem grant us that we should be able to see all of the tzaddikim and all of our, of our relatives with the resurrection. The Yevula Mavas we will no longer have to perform elevations of their souls as we will be with their souls. Thank you for listening to ShulhanArcharav.com. Our free services of making Torah knowledge available to the public depends on donors like you. Please help us continue our work for making even a small contribution at shuhanarcharav.com under the daily halacha dedication section or in the subscription page. Also, check out our online courses and many safarim available for purchase that will both enhance your Torah knowledge and help support our work.